So we're speaking of Psalm 2, remembering that all the emotions are contained in the Psalms, according to St. Ambrose. They contain all the emotions. They then give us permission to feel the way we should feel. They give us a language in which to pray to God. So Psalm 2 is the one today. And again, it picks up on this idea that most of life depends on the company that we keep. Here is part of the psalm. Why do the nations rage and the peoples plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and his anointed. So this whole idea that life is a bit of a struggle between the company we're going to keep. We keep company with good people, then we're fine. If we keep company with not so good people, then it will be a little more difficult for us. And then this psalm then goes on to speak about the, the, the sense of the feelings we have when we feel that we have been chosen by God. And so the early Christians really applied this psalm to Christ himself with the great opposition that he had, but also with the great comfort that he had that knowing that he was the Father's Son. It's the name of a very fine theological book written on Christ years ago. Beautiful title, The Father's Son. So here is the comforting. So firstly, the, the little bit of opposition to the goodness of someone, but now the great comfort. I will tell of the decree of the Lord. He said to me, you are my son. You are my daughter. Today I have begotten you. The sense of belonging to God. Beautiful sense of acceptance and love. So perhaps the emotion today through this psalm is the sense of feeling love and then being able to express it back to God. 